morning everyone oh my goodness it has been a crazy 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 morning um i have my ultrasound this morning in the city which is an hour plus away from us and um i'm still down where we live and it's my ultrasound's in an hour so i'm like racing to get there i mean i'm not going to speed but i need to get there and so anyway um basically we were running really on time this morning and then i had to go get my niece she's watching the kids she's an amazing babysitter but then um or she's watching just Breaker. but then i had to go drop off Ty. Ty's trainer was a little late, which is fine. You know, that happens. That's life. His, something was like having to get gas and something not working or something. I don't know. So anyway, he was a little late. So it kind of threw off my morning. I had to go drop off Rachel and Breaker at my house. Rachel's my niece. And then um, uh, I had to go drop them off. And then I didn't even leave my house till 8.30 and the appointment's at 9.30. So I'm really hoping that I don't have any crazy traffic or anything on the way up there and that everything runs smoothly because my appointment is in an hour from right now and I'm not even, I'm, if there's no traffic, I'm exactly an hour away from the appointment. So praying that there's no traffic right now, really praying because yeah, this is crazy. Um, anyway, this ultrasound is super, super important. Um, it's with a perinatologist because my liver enzymes have been rising this entire pregnancy, which is not good and it's not safe for the baby if they get too high. They have to check the function of her organs and I guess there's some special ultrasound that a perinatologist can do that tests the function of the organs to make sure that they are functioning properly so that the baby um, is okay. If they discover that anything is wrong or the measurements aren't, aren't right or the organs aren't measuring right or functioning right or whatever, I don't know how they do it, but then we will talk about options for early induction, um, inducing the baby early before my liver attacks her body, basically. So. Obviously, it won't be until later in the pregnancy, probably at least 30 weeks, um, which scares the bejeebies out of me. I do not want my baby born at 30 weeks. I'm really hoping that we can just um, not have that happen, but you never know. So um, we're going to this appointment. It's so important that we go, and um, my husband actually has to work. And so he will not be able to come to the appointment. With Breiker, we had to deal with the same issue. However, my liver enzymes never got high enough to where I actually had to go see a perinatologist. This time they are high enough that it's important that we go see one and um, just make sure the baby's okay. So I am a little nervous, um, but I'm also excited to get this appointment over with. and. We're going to make sure at this appointment that it is still a girl. Oh, I made it in time. I have 15 minutes before my appointment and I'm just about to the hospital where I have to go for the appointment. Um, and hopefully I can find the suite. I know what one it is, I just don't know exactly where it is. So I gotta go find it. Um, but I'm just about to pull into the parking lot so I should have plenty of time to find it. But um, it's for an ultrasound, and so you have to drink a lot of water before you go in. I have to pee so bad. It's not even funny, like, how bad I have to pee. So hopefully they don't push too hard on my bladder, because, oh gosh. All right, I just got down to the ultrasound. They didn't let me film. However, I did get some pictures, and it is still a girl. Just pointing that out. Definitely a girl. So that's exciting. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'll show you the pictures real quick. They're so cute, she's adorable, and she's measuring one pound, seven ounces right now, which is like right on track with where she should be. Um, and I'm out of breath because I just walked down a bunch of stairs. Um, the elevator was broken, but anyway. Let me show you what they look like. This here is her face, like her nose and head and elbow right there, her little legs. This 
There's her hands up by her face. And a foot. Oh, they're not very, it's not showing up very clear. The pictures are pretty good though. It's another foot. And this here is the girly shot. There's the three lines right there. Definitely a girl. Her bum cheeks are getting fatter. This the ultrasound text like, wow, she's still got a little bit of fluff on her. Um, but anyway, so because I don't have my kids and my next appointment up here is at noon, so I still have some time, um, I'm gonna run to this fabric store that I haven't gone to because <laughs> they don't have shopping carts and it's definitely not a kid's store. Um, but because my kids are with Sitter right now, I'm gonna go to that store and see what it's all about. All right, I just finished at the fabric shop. They, um, it's like a tiny little, it's not super tiny, but it's pretty small for a fabric store, but they have some pretty cute prints. If I was having a boy, I would have spent a fortune there because they had a lot of really cute boy prints, but the girl prints, like, it was either too babyish or just not cute enough. <laughs> so I did get one set for one quilt, and it's cute. It's pretty cute. So now I have fabric for three quilts for her now. Um, so I'll do a baby haul video of the fabrics and then, of course, the after result. Um, but now I gotta run over to Costco. That's where I'm meeting um, Ty's FSS. Um, oh gosh, my nose is so itchy lately. Um, that's where I'm meeting the FSS for, we are um, getting, if you can't tell, my seats are all folded down. Um, we are getting a playground today and we are paying for most of it. They're paying for part of it um, out of Ty's cost plan that he has. Um, they weren't going to and then as soon as I started questioning where all the money was going because it just wasn't adding up, they're like, oh, we'll pay for part of the playground. So I'm like, oh yeah, you will. <laughs> so we, I have to meet her. She's bringing a check over for the amount they're gonna cover and then we're gonna pay the rest. But we're getting the one at Costco. It's like a $1,000 um, of a playground and so I gotta go pick that up and then get home to my babies. Um, my niece is amazing and she's watching them so I am not worried at all um, about them. They're just fine with her. But I just, I have, I, have a, such a hard time getting babysitters and that might sound really stupid to some parents but for me I want to be the one that raises my kids and is around them as much as possible and so I don't like getting babysitters I I do it when I need to you know like today I had an ultrasound that would have been so hard with Breaker there so I do it when I need to but I like other than when I need to, pretty much the only time we get a sitter is like for dates. Um, like if we go out on dates, which is, you know, maybe like once a month. So it's not that often. And I just, I don't know, I have a hard time getting babysitters. It's, and it's not that I don't trust them. It's just, I don't want my kids to be like, oh, my mom and dad were always gone. They were never with us. You know, I'd rather take my kids with us to the movies or go do something that they can do too. Or all right, I was a little early for my appointment. I still am just by like 10 minutes and Costco is just like right there. So I ran into Ross and oh my gosh, I'm so glad I did. I found this for her room, for the baby's room. And I just freaking love it and I it's meant for outdoors. Um, but I don't care. It's a wickless candle inside so you turn it on on the bottom. And it's, it was only $7.99 and it is just like the cutest thing. I can't wait to put, like, it could go so many places like the dresser or hanging from the ceiling or on a shelf or a nightstand. And I just love it. So I got up some other baby things there too, but I'll show those later. But I just couldn't wait to show you guys that candle thing. It's so cute. All right, we got the playground, but my do back door does not close. So I'm a little worried about driving home over an hour. Um, I am not panicking, but I'm a little concerned. But we did, um, whew, we did strap the door shut. So I'm hoping that's sufficient enough until I get home. Of course, I will pull over and check the load multiple times. Um, but as you can see, we have a playground. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. 
I'm so excited. My kids are gonna love it. Oh, it's so cool. Um, so yeah, we did have to pay more than I had planned on. Um, about $50 more, but it's okay. Whatever, you know, whatever. But anyway, let's go home. I'm still driving home and um, it's actually kind of cold in my car. I had to turn the heat up because like the back door is part way open and so it's pretty windy in here and lots of cool air getting in and it was even snowing up in the city. It doesn't look, it looks like it might be snowing a little bit at our house, but not a lot. Um, like clear down the valley, but anyway, we're just driving home. I'm so excited for this playground for my house. I cannot wait to have it set up for the boys. Like they are just going to love it. It's going to be something that they play with so often and I'm just so excited. I really hope the weather starts getting warmer um, so that they can be out there all the time. Just because I know it, that they're going to love it. It's so great for them to have. I have all the boys now and oh I'm reminded why I do not like taking this car places <laughs> because they're sitting so close that they fight non-stop. Um, but anyway, they're all here. I want to get it. I know, nothing's new. You always want to get a toy. Um, but the playground is still in the back of the Suburban and um, I can't unload it by myself so I have to wait till I have help to unload it before I can drive my Suburban again because all the seats are folded down. So, um, we're driving the car. Uh, it's, you can help with one of the boxes that's really light. We're at a K-Park. And we're gonna buy the Frozen movie. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. I hope they still have some. I don't know if they do. Hopefully they do, huh? Yeah. Um, if they don't, then we have to watch, uh, we have to get something else. Uh, no. Yeah? <laughs> we're here to get the Frozen movie, that is all. We're uh, gonna go in and get the Frozen movie. I wish we can get a toy. No. A toy with the movie? Um, Stop person. negotiating with me. <laughs> <laughs> the movie and that's it. Okay. If we get the one with the toy, that would be okay. Alright, so I've just been taking tags off of baby clothes and getting her hangers ready. So now that we know for sure it's a girl, um, I am, you know, sorting through things and taking tags off and stuff so I can wash stuff. And then I got a bin here for some shoes. It's just a cute little, like, pink chevron bin. Um, and I have a lot more of this to do. That's what I'm doing right now. There is a huge bag here, one of those big Skecher bags, full of hangers and wrappers from clothes. That's the aftermath of the baby's clothes. And then I have like these cute little bins I found at Target for like hair bows and binks and some other bins with shoes and stuff in them. And then a massive pile of clothes that I need to wash. So, it's like over two feet tall. Pile of clothes that I'm gonna wash and hang up on her pink old hangers.